so I'm really excited to sit down today with Tracy Morris of Therapeutic Massage and Wellness Spa. This is really exciting because we're going to talk about everything that's happened and changed since Tracy and I really first got connected. So for podcast listeners, this will kind of be a, a follow-up episode too. Uh, I'll have somewhere in the notes what the first episode was. I think it's been over a year since that episode was published, but I'm so excited to talk about all the things that have happened as Tracy's become one of my clients and all the changes that have happened inside of her business. And she's going to you know, talk about some of the things that she's been up to. And I just, uh, we were talking a little bit before we hit record and I'm just really excited to talk about this. So thank you so much for joining me here today, Tracy. I, I want to start the conversation to just give us some context. Uh, who are you? What's your business? And something that I, that I want to add is also how old are you and how long have you been doing this? Well, DJ, I will tell you my age. I'm 57 and I want to just say thank you for doing this. This is this is very exciting for me to, to, to do this because it helps me look again at my business and what has been made possible through coaching with you. Um, so yes, I'm 57. My name is Tracy Morris, as you know, and um, my business is a massage and a wellness spa. And so we have massage therapists. We have eight plus myself, massage therapists and an esthetician. Um, and we do massage therapy, reflexology, ion cleanse, detoxes. We do facials, couples massages, couples uh, facials, massages, you know, spa treatments, spa packages. But we really focus on taking care of people, getting them uh, out of pain, and increasing mobility. And in that process, always is to make them feel so welcome, so respected, and leave feeling better from the inside out because when you do massage you're not just uh touching the, the body you are affecting the whole person i absolutely love that and i know it might be a, a little bit odd it could be a social faux pas to talk about age but it's one of the things that i really wanted to point out because um i mean i really have conversations with people uh, of different ages different stages in their career different stages of business ownership and i think for me it's really important to say like it doesn't matter if you're 22 32 52 62 if you want to do this, if you want to change, it's absolutely possible. So we're going to kind of go back and forth across like time as we talk about some of the things that have been happening. But I want to get a quick snapshot of how things are today. So like in terms of the team, in terms of revenue appointments, like whatever numbers you have, like what's the business looking like lately? Well, I'll have to give you a comparison as to when we started. Um, the revenue, when we, when before I started coaching with you, DJ, um, we were about 180,000 in revenue. Um, and as of June 1st, 2024, revenue is 334,000. That's over $150,000 increase since um, 2023. So uh, early 2023. So I'm really excited just to, to look back at that um, and see that. So um, the uh, our client database was um, probably about 1,500, and now we have 2,600 on our database of, of clients. Um, we have, um, I forget how many more therapists we have now, but um, actually, I'm opening up another office in the same building because the space got so tight. We had um, only th we have three rooms and we probably had four therapists. So I think, you know, eight with me, nine, we've more than doubled the amount of massage therapists. And, um, and we're just growing and looking into uh, seeing what more we can do for the people in our community. Um, and so that's where I'm at right now. Quite excited. Wow, that is so exciting. And it's been so amazing to to watch you grow. One of the things that I remember is, um, so we first got in contact when I had you as a guest on the podcast and we had had like a small conversation. Then I think about a month or two later, we had another conversation. And what I remember is from like this initial strategy call, essentially, to when it was time to start working together I, I remember because I, I had 
um, written this down. I don't know if you remember, but when we had first on the podcast, you were doing about 12,000 a month. Um, that was like about the average revenue. We kind of had our first strategy session. And then I honestly wasn't sure if I was going to hear from you again. And I, you know, I let go of the outcome. I was like, okay, we've talked, we've given some advice. We'll just see how this goes. And when you got on my calendar again, like just a few months later, you had grown to 17,000 a month. And I remember thinking, okay, like this is someone who's who's ready to go, who's super motivated, and who's really serious about making some changes inside your business. And it's been so crazy to to watch you grow and watch things change since that day. So I want to go back in time. Um, about when we when we first got connected, you know, what was it like running your business, I guess, before we started working together? You know, how long had you been running your business the way it is? And uh, just what was it like? How are you feeling? What was going on at that time? At that time, before we had started uh, coaching together, I felt exhausted and overwhelmed. I'm still very passionate about my business and the reason for having my business. Um, but I was working um, 10 hours a day, sometimes 12. And when I say working, I don't mean massaging people all that time. That's, that would be very hard. Um, I was doing my own laundry for the, for the spa and doing um, the appointments and doing the callbacks and the email, re returning the emails and just everything. I was doing everything and providing everything for the spa. So, you know, the days were very long and yeah, it was, it was tiring. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I remember when we got connected, um, you know, something that is really, I don't want to say important to me, but something that's, that's really interesting to me is, a, you know, I had reached out to you because to, to be on the podcast, because I want to talk about all the things that you had uh, grown and done so far and wanted to share the success you had made up to that point in your business and having your team and growing because, you know, up to that point, I think for the average massage therapist, for the average massage business, if they're just looking from the outside, like everything's amazing that like you've reached Everest and everything is really cool and you're working a lot and the client's full and there's lots of money coming in. Uh, but clearly there was, there was more behind the scenes and not necessarily in a bad way, but saying, Hey, we've entered a new phase of business where there's new challenges to be solved and new things that have to be taken care of if we want to continue going forward. And so, you know, I mentioned, I mentioned your age and, and not that it's a, a significant thing, but I've had lots of conversations. I have people who they're like, I've been doing this for 20, 30 X amount of years. I'm just ready to be done with it, or I'm ready to to take things or shut them down or make them smaller or or something like that, especially because they've just been in the industry for a while. You know, what what motivated you or maybe still motivates you to say, you know what, actually, I want to take this bigger. I want to scale this. I want to change something about my business and my life. What what's that that motivation for you? Um, the motivation is really to get to more people that are in need of um, feeling better, feeling better in their body, in their physical body. People are in such pain and they are in so, uh, so busy and so disconnected in general. Um, it's not a criticism, it's just life that we get fairly disconnected from our bodies. We don't know how much pain we're in. Um, until you receive, you know, an, a therapy that can help you feel better other than, you know, medicine. So what drives me is, what encourages me to, to keep going is to see and hear about clients that have come into our spa and leave feeling um, euphoric sometimes, like they've never felt before or that they can never remember feeling this relaxed, this energized, uh, a shoulder problem has almost disappeared in, in the first session sometimes, sometimes it goes on and they need more sessions, but the changes we make for people's life to help them do what they want to do in life, to help them um, experience their days more present rather than just struggling through, pushing through the pain, pushing, you know, just pushing through life um, without being aware 
of, of the joys in life. So that helping more people is really the most rewarding thing to me. And although I can't get to more people myself, the whole purpose of opening a spot was to, um, is to have a team. And even I, I, I used to teach, I still do teach massage therapy. So to, to have a team that I could mentor if necessary or encourage that could do, do this with a, um, a heart full of kindness and caring. Um, that, that has been my whole drive since I began in 1997. Um, as a solo massage therapist. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, it's been so amazing to see how, how, you know, we've been able to scale and, and help you impact so many more people. Um, and I'm sure people want to know, okay, so like, how does this work? What's happening? I guess I'll start with, uh, so as we think back of, you know, the, about a year or so we've worked together so far, um, what would you say, has changed like what are the things that you're doing different or the business does different or how you've changed what's what's changed talk us through it well there's so many things that have changed but the very first thing you explained to me is that where do you want to go where do you want what is it you want to do rather than being um uh as it were you didn't say this but i'm saying you know only seeing what's right in front of me and just keeping keeping things moving day by day, you help me look ahead. What is it I want to achieve for this business, for the people, for the team, for the clients? And so the very first strategy uh, call that you had with me had me think about where do I want to be? And so um, I started thinking about that and you encouraged me to find ways to have the things done that take a lot of time that that um, could be done by someone else um, and that took me some time to come to uh, to accept because I wanted to take care of everything so um, one of the things that changed is I learned to let go of being in control of everything and um, so from from there to here the big jump the big picture now is that um, I don't do the laundry. Um, I have a wonderful person who does an amazing job getting the laundry done for the spa daily. I have two part-time receptionists. Um, and, I, and DJ, really, you encouraged me to, to do that, even though I thought, oh, I don't have the funds to do this. You will find that your business will grow better because of customer service. Um, that's very, very important. You know. I was the only one doing customer service and it was, you know, wasn't what it is today because we have the three of us now to help that. Um, the big changes, um, I'm, it's, it's so hard to think about all the changes actually just, you know, from there to here. Um, so maybe I can think about that a little bit more as we talk. Yeah, of course. And I think that's really amazing. I, I want to, you know, point that out, you know, having the customer service, the client care is now distributed a lot more in a way that's so much easier. You know, obviously we can look and say, okay, the business has made more money. And I'm sure there's some people who, who maybe they're cynical, or maybe they're just the kind of people who, you know, they've just believed for, for whatever reason that, okay, to have a bigger business is going to be a bad thing. To make more money is going to bring us closer to being like massage envy. You know, as the business has grown, how has the reception been from, you know, your team and, and the clients? What's the feedback been like or any changes as things have grown? Um, I think as things have grown, we have worked very hard to maintain the the care. Um, that's the priority. Um, so yes, you can, you can think that oh, the bigger you get, the less time you have to pay attention to the clients, but that's the very reason for the business. So um, you, you have to be watchful that, that you maintain um, the goals that you had in the very beginning. Um, so I think actually the clients are feeling better cared for because I now have an email that goes out twice a week. And if there's something special, maybe another time, but the feedback is from the clients that they they love the emails. They, here was I thinking, I don't want to bother them with more emails in their inbox. They actually 
like the educational part that we bring that helps them know how we could maybe help them or a friend. They like the fact that we put the schedule out for availability and they they actually tell us, we don't even ask, they're like, we, we like these emails. And I actually rely on those to get to get booking because I'm too busy to sit down and just look through the schedule. So I think the clients are feeling that they're getting more care, more interaction, more communication than when I was doing this all by myself. Mm -hmm. That's so amazing. And, and something I want to touch on very briefly is that I think a lot of people, as they grow their initial business, the main thing they understand is to grow a business. I just got to get more clients. I got to do more marketing. You know, we've worked together for a year, a little over a year. I'm curious what you would say, how marketing has or has not made that impact for you because, you know, we never said, let's go build a crazy new, big, fancy, schmancy marketing campaign, but it's not like marketing wasn't a piece of it. So, you know, what's marketing been like? Um, how important do you think it's, it's been? And would you say that was the main thing that's helped you grow? No, I wouldn't. It hasn't, it hasn't changed. Um, I haven't gone out and spent a lot of money on a fancy marketing campaign. Although I did try something for a brief time uh, that didn't didn't work well for our business. Um, so uh, I, we just put out emails, we put posts on, um, more recently we're putting uh, twice weekly posts on Instagram and Facebook, but that's only been in the last few months. So what, what uh, you know, growing the business came from um, getting more therapists, um, and letting people know that we're here and how we can help them and having that customer service I think that the, having someone to answer the phone and uh, reassure them that we're here and that we can help them that we'll reach back out to them um, has been exponential in our growth hmm. and as we've been working together has there anything that just really stood out to you as memorable or valuable just like any tips or strategies that we've worked on that you were like wow I'm so glad I I've used this or I have this now um the we've um had quarterly rocks so rocks are goals that we have for each quarter and um sometimes I don't meet or oftentimes I don't meet all the rocks but if you have something planned which is, is very important that you're working towards, you'll get somewhere. You know, people say, you know, shoot for the moon and you may reach the stars or I don't know how that goes, but um, mm -hmm. it is important to, to have a goal. And also one of the other things uh, that you um, shared with me is to uh, keep track of, of the numbers of, uh, of responses, you know, monitor what's going on so that you know how to change things if you need to. Um, so those are memorable things. And also um, to hire people to answer the phones, to step back from being at the massage table as much and actually run, um, operate the business um, or run the business rather than be working in the business. You just cannot do both at the same time and grow it to this, to where it is now in my opinion. And that's something I learned from you. And I, I love to see seeing how these changes have come about and, um, you know, seeing that the clients are happy, even happier, the team has grown, the revenue has grown. I'm really curious, how have you changed? Maybe it's your mindset or just like your day to day, what you spend your day on, what your energy and emotions are like, how have things changed for you over this process? Yeah. Um, it seems like there's been a great change. And um, I first of all realized that I am not my business. I am a separate entity from my business. You know, at first I think I was enmeshed in the business and um, didn't get to look at it as a separate thing from myself. So um, I've learned to, so for example, I'll, um, someone left a, a Google review because uh, they had called and didn't get a response and they had called twice in one day and nobody had answered the phone. This was before I had a receptionist. So I couldn't get to the phones. Um, 
And she left a, maybe a one-star review saying that um, she was very unhappy and she will never call again and she will not come to our place. And the comment was, too busy to answer the phone. And that changed. I, I immediately started looking for someone to help me answer the phones. And I, I responded to her with a thank you because um, I think before uh, I started coaching with you, I might've been really offended with that and really upset, but actually that was a message to me that something needed to change in the business. So it wasn't a comment about me personally, which I think sometimes you can get um, weighed down with that, but um, it was about the business and how it was being operated. So she gave me a wonderful uh, boost besides the fact that you had told me um, to actually get, get into action. And one of the things I, I also remember, actually, I wanted to talk about is that, um, you know, you are uh, originally from the UK, and it is pretty regular that you go back home, get a chance to see family. And as I understand, this was the, the first year, at least the first year in a very long time that you were able to make this vacation mm -hmm. and not worry about the business falling apart. W yeah. What was that like? What was different this year? Um, it was unbelievable. I, but, you know, I realized when I got back, you know, and uh, I, that I didn't have to do anything. I did daily have a, a brief check-in with um, one of our team or, who, or whoever wanted to give input, but rarely was there anything that I needed to, to, to do. It was um, very rare. Um, the team actually took care of everything. And I just, I'm amazed and thrilled that the, the clients were happy, the team were happy. Everything went as it was supposed to go. And I was away for four and a half weeks. So that was a most amazing change. When I, before I started um, coaching with you, DJ, I remember going to London with my cell phone in a London taxi cab, going from the airport to wherever I was going next, answering a call, trying to take their information. And then when I got to where I was going with, with internet, then taking care of it. So, you know, I'm grabbing baggage, answering phones. I'm with family, having to excuse myself. This was way, you know, back before, before um, I started working with you. So it seems a very long time ago, but it's only been just over a year. Uh, a lot has changed so much and I am not exhausted and I uh, feel that I can be more creative and um, do more for the business and that means more for the team and more for our clients. Well, I, I love to hear that. Uh, as you've gone throughout this journey, have there been any resources that stood out to you? I mean, obviously working with me, I've made recommendations, but also you're the kind of person who you you go off and you find things that are helpful for you. So besides me as a tool, has there been any, I don't know, a podcast, a video, a book, anything that's been really useful for you in this phase? Um, there's a book you recommended uh, called Traction. In fact, You've recommended several books, and I'm sorry, I don't have the, I don't recall them right now, but the books you recommend just start the wheels of change turning in my mind. It's like the, your coaching and the, the resources you've pointed me towards have opened the eyes of my mind to see things that I, I just wasn't aware were out there, wasn't aware of, of um, systems or, or, or ways of thinking. So it really has grown me as a business owner um, instead of working so hard just to push, um, which I enjoyed, but there becomes a time where your physical body and emotional body is limited. And that's where growth for the business um, stops or you give up and you, and you just can't go anymore. Um, another thing I thought of that, oh, another thing that I love about what you do, um, DJ, is that you have, um, businesses get together, you know, regularly throughout the year, and we just talk. You know, you're there hosting, you ask a, a particular question that, that we all break into groups, and then we talk amongst each other and we, we, you know, encourage each other, we learn from each other. It's very valuable. So that has been a really valuable resource, also. 
Now you've made it this far. As you look back through this journey, is there any advice you would give to someone who's thinking about really growing and scaling their business? I would say, um, get help, get a, get a good coach, go uh, reach out to DJ, try him <laughs> because I didn't know where this business was going to go until DJ helped me focus. Um, I would say, don't try and do this um, under your own steam. Um, always reach out for help. It's always good to collaborate with other businesses, but um, specifically this business wouldn't be where it is today in one, just over one year uh, without, without my help from DJ and he's, and you're very easy to work with and you're very supportive and you listen. The, the great thing about coaching with you is you are specifically geared to my business, to my industry. So you have resources along the way that you've, um, you know, sent me to, to help me check on things and ideas and policies, you know, policy ideas and, and just systems. Uh, so I, that's really the best advice I can give you is, is, to, is to get a coach. And my coach is DJ and I can speak very highly from experience that it, it worked for me. I love to hear that. It has been just an absolute pleasure and a joy working with you. And I know you're the type A driven kind of person. So we've made it this far. As you look ahead, what do you think is next? What are you trying to achieve? What goals are going to be next for you in the future? Oh, wow. Well, I want to make sure that I can maintain this for a very long time. Um, I do, you know, as we're opening a new office now, um, I want to have a wellness room in there. So um, we have a couple's room that will be dedicated to all the couple's services because we have quite a demand for that. Um, I need to hire more massage therapists and uh, to keep providing. The most important thing is that, yes, growing is good, but also being able to maintain it, maintain the care, quality of, of uh, skill and quality of service and care as we grow and, and bring more things that, that make it easy for people to come and be well, you know, with, without... Um, invasive methods obviously um we need invasive methods when there is an accident or a trauma uh, of any kind um but we're here to help people live life well and i want to see that grow and i am looking into more things to bring into the spa that that can help people do that besides massage and body work and if someone just wants to connect with you or learn more about your business where's the best place for them to go they can give us a call, 240-349-6883. We'd be happy to talk to you and, and help you on your journey. Um, you can also take a look at our website, which is www.massageandwellnessspa.com. It has been an absolute pleasure working with you. I look forward to where we go in the future. And thank you so much for sitting down today to, to talk about all the progress and all the work we've done together. So again, Thank you so much. And thanks for everyone who's watching, listening, however it is you're consuming this. That's all for today. And I'll catch you guys again on the next one. Thank you, DJ.